Hi everyone, Cherie back with you today, this time with a layout using some beautiful Kerry Bradford Studio products. I've already been into the shop and downloaded the Splendid Travellers Pack. You get these beautiful uh, printables. Uh, these ones you can use for a Traveller's Notebook cover, but today I'll be using them as my pattern papers. So you get lovely patterns and different colours in those. I've also already cut out all the little bits and pieces that you get, like the labels, there's all sorts of little tags and things um, that you can use. And I've also selected some of the Kerry Bradford stamps to use on this page. So I've got the XO stamp set, the Go stamp set, and the Brooklyn etc. stamp set, which has all those numbers on it. Uh, I've also, I had a second uh, a copy of the roses printed, and I've already gone ahead and fussy cut one of the roses from that, which I'll be using it as an embellishment today on my page. And I've already gone ahead and printed my journaling strips, so they're ready to go as well. So I'll get started and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so to start off this page, I'm going to be using this lovely yellow rose paper. So because it doesn't reach quite across the length of the, sorry, the width of my page, I've cut it on the diagonal and that seems to fit perfectly. So I'm just going to use my tape runner on the back of that and adhere that across the very top of my page. Now I've got this other strip here. This is from the cut apart uh, page that you get as part of this downloadable kit. And I'm planning on layering that across that floral strip, but first I'm just going to add a row of stitching across the top of that. So I'm just doing that now. Just quickly adding that bit of stitching there. So I'll trim off those ends and then I'm going to layer that strip across the bottom edge of that paper. Now I've also got a thinner strip which has the days of the week on it but it has a black background so I'm just going to add that as another layer up the top corner there and that just adds another bit of contrast to that section of the page. That's going on there. So I'm just going to position where I'd like my photo now. And I've got another paper from the kit and it's got the days of the week on a white background. So I'm going to layer my photo onto that with some foam tape. So I'm just adding the foam tape now, but I'm going to put the photo aside for a moment and just play around with some more placement of other elements that I'd like to add before I add that photo on. So popping that piece onto the page and then I'm going to grab that fussy cut rose. So I'm going to tuck that in underneath that and I've also got a white tag with some white twine attached to that. So I'm just adding some layers to this section of the page now. Just fiddling around with placement there. And now I'll add some stitching to that. So I'm just going to stitch across the, bot uh, the top and the bottom of that uh, days of the week paper and by adding that stitching it just secures that tag into place as well. So my photo is going on now and I'm going to stick that rose down into place. My tag is secure with the stitching that I just did and I've got another little strip that was left over from my previous uh, Traveller's Notebook project that I did with this kit and I, I just thought it needed a little bit more yellow on that edge of the page so that's just tucked underneath my photo and now I'm adding this camera stamp from the Go stamp set I've already stamped that onto some cardstock and cut it out ready to go and that's just stuck on with a bit of foam tape just add a little bit of dimension now I've got another pretty little yellow rose that was in the cut apart sheet so I've added that with another piece of foam tape just adding another lovely layer to that section. So I've got my Brooklyn etc stamps out now and these are all numbers I just love this font and this is going to be my title for my page. So I'm just doing a couple of stamp tests now just to make sure I get nice ink coverage there. And my plan is to stamp it directly onto the page above that white tag, which does look okay, but then I decided I wanted to add another little layered element to that section. So 
I've stamped it onto a piece of cardstock, cut it out, and I'm now just going to adhere that straight over where I stamped onto the page. So there we go. That's on there now. So next I've got another stamp. This is also from the EXO stamp set and it says you, me, love. So I'm just popping that above my photo. I'll give you a close up look of that one. Okay, so next I think we're going to add some journaling strips. So these journaling strips I've already printed out with my favorite font. It's called Traveling Typewriter. I use this for all of my journaling. It's just one of my absolute favorites. So I'm just adding some thin double-sided tape to the back of those strips and then they'll go onto the page. Now when I did finish this video I decided to add some stitching to those journaling strips as well. So you'll see that at the close-up photos at the end of the video. So I'm just sticking those into place now. Okay, so next I'm going to get my Stampin' Up! Daffodil Delight yellow ink. And I'm stamping up this lovely heart from the EXO stamp set. And then I'm just going to cut that out freehand with my scissors. And then I'll pop that onto the page as well. I'm just going to put that to the top left of my 27 title. So I'm going to put a bit of foam tape behind that to pop it off the page a little. So just cutting those little strips now to fit. And on it goes. Just adding another little colourful element to the page. So just playing around with my twine now. And I do decide to tie a little bow to that. So I'll fiddle around with that a little bit. Just getting a nice placement with that. And now I'll add my date down below my journaling. So just popping that one on. And I thought I had finished this page. Then I decided to add another little black strip just at the bottom of the photo for a little bit more contrast. So it's the same, that's the other part of the strip that I used in the top right hand corner. So I'm just popping that in that section there for a little more contrast. It just needed a little bit something extra. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this page today. I'll pop a link down below to the Kerry Bradford Studio if you're interested in heading over there for their beautiful products. And um, I'll be back again very soon with another project to share. Thanks for watching and bye for now.